Hi, my name is Marcus, and in the following video, I'm going to teach you how to download the Gridcoin wallet, install it, set it up, crunch with Boink, and claim Gridcoin via MRC. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go to the gridcoin.us website. This is the official website for the Gridcoin wallet. If you scroll down, you'll find some information, and you'll also find some download links for your particular operating system. If you're on Windows, get the Windows one. There's also Mac OS builds, and also builds for some Linux distributions. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. And if you scroll back up, there are a few guides for you to look through. These are the different ways that you can crunch and earn Gridcoin. But for now, we're going to do the solo crunching guide because that's the one that's most recommended. You can read through it yourself, but you can also watch this video in order to get the full information. To install the Gridcoin wallet, simply open the executable file that was downloaded from the official website. Windows Defender may give you a warning about running this software. Simply click More Info and Run Anyway. To get through the installer, simply click Next. If you would like to store Gridcoin in a different directory other than the one specified, place that there. Set up Start Menu Shortcuts there, and then wait for it to install. After clicking Finish, the Gridcoin, uh, the Gridcoin wallet will run, and it will present to you an option to store the data directory in a different place. If you want to store the blockchain data that, grid, that the Gridcoin wallet will download, you can put that in a custom directory there. You'll also get a warning from Windows Firewall to allow the app to use the internet. Simply click Allow Access. As you can see, the wallet has started up, and you can see the block numbers increasing. This means that the wallet is successfully connected to the network and is downloading the blockchain. You will have to wait for a number of hours for the blockchain to synchronize before you're able to use the wallet fully. After installing the wallet, you may want to do a few things in order to improve the security and functionality. You can keep a backup of your wallet by going to the menu and clicking the backup options, where you can save both the wallet and the config file. If you would like to download a snapshot, you can use this button here. And if you get stuck synchronizing, you can click reset blockchain data to fix it. Next, I would highly recommend encrypting your wallet with a password. Keep in mind that if you forget your password, you will not be able to access your grid coin. In order to receive Gridcoin, click on the Receive tab and you'll find a list of your addresses. You can share these addresses with anyone publicly. Now the next step is to download Boink. Boink stands for the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing and it's the software that's used to mine Gridcoin, or as we call Crunch It. It connects your computer to a global network of computers which are all crunching scientific projects. Now in order to get Boink, you have to go to boink.berkeley.edu and then look for the download link that is just below this button. When you click this download link, it'll take you to a page with two different options. The first one is VirtualBox, which is needed for some Boink projects in order to crunch, and then you have the regular version of Boink. And for the sake of this tutorial, we'll be using the normal version. To install Boink, simply open the executable that was downloaded from the Boink website. Click Next, accept the agreement, and you'll be asked if you want to change any of the directories. I would recommend changing the Boink data directory to a different drive as some projects will download a large amount of files. Click Finish and the Boink Manager will be launched. After installing Boink, you'll have to select a project. Start by going to gridcoin.us, go to Guides, Project Whitelist, and you'll find a list of projects along with hardware compatibility and whether you need to do an extra step which is called GDPR Stats Export. Feel free to go through the list and find a project that you like. Their home pages are located on the left hand side. On their project home page, you're able to log in and create an account. And if you'd like to know which project will yield you the most Gridcoin per day, go to quickmag.ml and then select GRC per day and then punch in your hardware information. This website will give you a list of results showing you how much Gridcoin per day your hardware could earn on particular Boink projects. This can help you select the most performant Boink project to allow you to get the most Gridcoin per day. After the Boink Manager launches for the first time, it'll ask you to select a project. I already have an account with Milky Way at home, so I'm going to select Milky Way at home and click Next. The project will ask you if you'd like to create an account, but because I already have an account, I'm just going to log in with my details. Once the project was added successfully, it'll say Project Added. If you go to the Projects tab, you should see the new project, and it will soon start initializing. If you go to the Transfers tab, you might see some files that are being downloaded by the project. 
And if you check the task tab, we already have some tasks here ready and crunching. If you would like to stop any processing at all, click activity and suspend. After installing the wallet and depositing a small amount of Gridcoin within it, you can now do the next step and issue a beacon. Click on the settings under researcher and then click start over. There are three options you can take, solo, pool, and investor. We're going to choose the solo option. Punch in your email address that you used to sign up to the Boink projects. And if you used a different email address for different Boink projects, you will have to create a new account with one single unified email across all Boink projects. Click next and you'll be presented with the whitelist of all the projects that you can crunch, along with the ones that you have installed via Boink. The next step is to advertise your beacon on the blockchain. This will send out a transaction telling the Gridcoin network that you wish to crunch Boink and earn Gridcoin. On the next step, you'll have to read this information very carefully. There is a code here which you will need to change the username of just one of your Boink accounts in order to get verified on the Gridcoin network. After you've been crunching some Boink projects for a little while, you'll find that you would have accrued some credits. Those credits would have turned into magnitude on the Gridcoin network and you will be receiving research rewards, which you can find in the researcher pane in the Gridcoin wallet. To claim these rewards, simply click the MRC request button that is inside the wallet, and you'll be presented with a whole bunch of information. If you want to learn more about this information, check out the frequently asked questions on the official Gridcoin website. But for now, we're just going to simply click the submit button to submit a claim to the network. That will send a transaction on the blockchain. And after another block has been validated on the blockchain, you should receive your research rewards into your wallet. And that concludes the Gridcoin tutorial. If you'd like more information, feel free to go to gridcoin.us or take a look at these other sites that we've linked here. If you want to get your hands on some Gridcoin and start, there is also some faucets we've linked here in the video and in the description. If you'd like to support the makers of this video, we have a Gridcoin address in the description of this video that you can send Gridcoin to. Thank you.